What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Hyper Light Drifter. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And continue, I guess, to keep working towards... We got that thing right there, that's all that I really cared about in the previous episode. We were looking around for diamonds. Diamonds in the rough, diamonds in the wilds. But... For right now... I think we should probably get back on the trail. I think we may have a boss fight in front of us in this episode. We're getting kind of closer. I have a hard time believing it's going to take us 30 minutes to go like two screens. I'm willing to bet this is going to be one of those episodes where I bang my head against a boss for a little while. And so let's get on with it. Let's <laughs> rip this band-aid off quick. Although, to be honest, I heard a lot of complaining about the bosses in this game. People saying they were unfair or that they were like overly difficult or like a bunch of other shit. And I haven't noticed that to be the case at all, really. I mean... I didn't notice that the bosses were that bad. It took me maybe two, three attempts on the Toucan boss. It took me four or five on the Frog boss, but it was no different than anything like Bloodborne or Dark Souls. It's just kind of you got to memorize the pattern and figure out what they do and how you can get out of the way of what they do. And I think the big discrepancy there is that a lot of people will go into the fight and they won't understand what's going on. I'm just going to take this now because I'm never going to come back here and get this. A lot of people will go in the fight and all the mechanics get thrown at you simultaneously. And because of that, it feels like there's way too much going on. And oh my god, I can never learn how to do this. This is way too difficult. And then what you find, I don't remember. I hope it was right here. I was going to say, that's my only chance is if it was right here. Otherwise, I'm screwed. It looks like we're going to have to cut back south a ways if we really wanted to make this work. And I don't know if you can go down underneath. Maybe this is... Nope, it's not. Never mind. I was hoping it would be an archway or something like that. But it doesn't look like you can go down there. Instead of being the archway, it is merely the vice archway. I was trying to do like an Archmage joke, but man, I got nothing right now. This is one of those days where like my brain is firing, trying to find funny things to say or funny things to conversate about, and they're just, I got nothing. I got nothing, so I have to resort to like self-deprecation. And did we go, no, we didn't go left right here. I think I there was multiple branching paths and I kind of just picked one that we would run down. Although, I guess I've been here, too. Oh, yeah, I have. So, I, I backtracked then. That's what it was. I backtracked because I wanted the I wanted the shiny thing. That guy's going to try and shoot me. And I know you guys think it's hilarious when I get shot. But not today. I'm going to try and cheat a whole bunch of weapon energy at him. It doesn't matter if they have one health left. If you kill him with a strong strike, you still get, like, five energy back. So, keep that in mind in case you didn't know. What's going on right here? It's got like the little indicator that there's possibly a secret on this side, but I don't see it. We might be able to jump down right there, maybe, but... We are going to have to clear this area out quickly, though. Look at that shit, man. I'm looting before the pull is even over. I'm looting before the pull is even over. That's a cardinal sin in MMO rules. You don't do that stuff. That's how you make... That's how you make enemies right there, but like, is this dude looting in the middle of a pull? You better get back on DPS, Rogue. It's always the Rogue or the Hunter pulling some shit like that. If you're the healer, you might be able to get away with it just because, eh, sometimes there's downtime and heal. Oh, I walked right into that one. It's okay. I've cleared a couple rooms around. I haven't looked stupid in a little bit, so... Oop. Okay, let's get back on the horse here. Let's get back on the horse. I feel like we were doing really, really well for like a minute. And then I started to drop the ball. I'm going to go pick up this med kit before we leave. There's so many of them around anyways. It's like feast and famine with med kits. Like sometimes there's so many med kits you don't even know what to do with them all. And then other times it seems like you go like four and five screens without a med kit unless you find like a secret area. It's like, ah, I'm down to the last of my health here. I need assistance. Someone come and save me. Looks like there's another one hiding behind the bush right there too. So there's definitely enough med kits around. I think this is probably our path right here. Cut left. There's a crystal booby trap on this side. Is there any reason for the crystal booby trap? Oh my, I clicked off screen. Yay. I think if we go through right there, yup, found ourselves another secret. I love the amount of secrets in this game. I love how if you just like mess around, it's usually pretty obvious where they're at. But there are some definite hidden ones in this game. They're like behind trees where you'd have no idea except for like one little stone. That's the advice that I've given the entire game and it's the advice I'll continue to give is watch out for these little cobblestones on the ground in like random spots. That's the best indicator or like these little blood splotches right here. Anytime you've got, because if you look down here, 
usually it's filled in, but once there's empty space, if there's just empty space and there's nothing on the ground, there doesn't tend to be a secret there, but if there's empty space and there's like a blood splotch on the ground, or if there's like a little thing of cobblestones right here, usually there's a secret. It's indicating to you that there's something hiding right there that you might be able to utilize for later. I'm not going to take a chance with that little plant right there. Oh, it's going to be a boss fight soon. I know it. I dread these boss fights. I really do. Because I have to learn. I have to get good at video games. All right. Let's go see. I heard that this guy isn't that bad, but after I say that, I'll probably jinx myself. Heidi ho Chief Arino. Okay, so he does a double strike. Ooh, he doesn't like being hit, neither. And it looks like he's got a gun, too. Ow. I'm going to need to make it up. Yeah, I got to learn to... Got to have a double strike in there. Otherwise, I ain't going to make it. Or I got to have a double dodge. This is the point at which my mastery of the double dodge is really going to mess with me. Okay, so I've got a feel for what he does now. I'm spamming on the space bar a whole bunch. I just got to get cleaner about this. This is the fight that's going to teach me that I got to have the, the chain dodge down. Otherwise, I ain't going to make it. But you got to land close enough to him... Yeah, you gotta land close enough to where you can get hits off, though. That's the... That's the big spoopy part. Oh, he's spawning. Okay. That actually... I didn't see him do that before. So it looks like if you get too far away, maybe he punishes you by summoning a minion. And actually adding minions to this fight with it being chaotic the way that it already is is gonna be... A little bit less than manageable. Yeah, he's going to get me right there. Unfortunately, oh. Yikes. Good lord. People said he wasn't that bad. And people said he wasn't that bad. See, that's why I don't make proclamations like that before I go into boss fights. Let me go ahead and I'll give him a couple. Let me see if I can give him one more attempt here. There we go. That's more along the lines of expected performance. That one I didn't have dodge space, so kind of my own fault. Come on. Doesn't seem too bad. Just kind of got to unload on him in between. Yeah, that's going to be ugly, though. That's got to be handled. Ah, right into that one. Oh, he did three. Oh, he changed it up. God. Oh, it's so close, too. We'll see what he decides to do here, but... No! Oh, he had one hit left! He, I could have gunned him. I could have shot him with the pistol, and I didn't do it. Oh, no. I had him. I had him. Oh, that's so upsetting. I've got the fight down, though. I've got it now. Aside from the little mob that he adds in, it's not that bad. Although I would recommend maybe seeing if you could get a couple love taps in. Oh, he's going to summon the ad now. Okay. That's a little upsetting. That random ad. That's the only thing I'm struggling with is the ad. Because the ad represents him shutting down a section of the battlefield that you can't get after. So I think we'll just have to work around that from here on in. Still, time for another pull. The fact that, like, this doesn't burn me out and make me want to die every time I fight him. Every time I fight him, I want to get back in there and I want to give it a couple more cuts. I got him this time. Oh, big hit right there. 
So every time he jumps, he does three sets of two strikes. If we get a big hit off in between each of those, and then I unload on him in between when he's doing this stuff, three shots there, then he's back to two swings. We get a big hit off, two swings. We get a big hit off, two swings, big hit off, okay. That recharges me up completely, put a couple more rounds into the side of him. He's not that difficult of a boss. I think I've got this. It's just things coming together at the proper moment and the proper place and the proper time in order to get the finish. There's... Oh, I thought I got the... I thought I got the minion right there. I thought I got him. Uh, things are getting ugly. I wonder if I can just finish him. There we go. And it killed the minion. Whew. That was an intense fight. I like how they're intense, but short, though. Still exhausting. And there's our kill. Good God. Some of these bosses, man, they're so intense, and they don't actually take that much time to learn. They're just a little bit troublesome. With him, I find that it's when he... the adds. That's the biggest issue with him, is that if you have a, a fight where he summons all the adds, like, back to back to back, and I don't know if he does that whenever you give him too much space, he goes and he summons an ad as a punishment, or whether it's just a random part of the fight where he just decides randomly to summon adds, but the adds seem to be the worst part right there. He's manageable, manageable all by himself with a double dodge each time. You gotta do a triple dodge during the second phase, and then when he closes the gap with you right afterwards, you hit him with a strong attack, and then in the in-between, in the interim, you get him with the gun. Not a bad fight altogether. Not a difficult fight, I think. Ooh, what is this? Like a revolver, maybe? Did he just give me, like, a full key? What did he just give me? I don't have a key indicator anywhere, so what did he do for my... Is it just like a... Oh... Okay, so it's like a big ad, it's like a magnum version of what we had already. Firing those big old hot loads. That's what it's called when you overpack around with too much powder. It's called a hot load. I know. Insert jokes as much as you want. I people are gonna do it either way, so you know what? I might as well address it now. So that leaves us with everything but the Southward Pass. Not seeing a whole lot of love over here. This might actually be some kind of loot back, or I don't know if there's... What's going on in this little room? Something touched my leg. That's the worst feeling ever, is when you're in the pitch black and something touches your leg. Where's my aiming reticule, by the way? Oh, it actually, it disappears in the darkness, too. Hmm. That's gonna be an issue. I don't think that's the gun that we want to use for what's happening right now. Here, give me that back. If I can kill these things with one hit, I would rather have... It's funny to say, but I do like the default pistol better than just about everything else in the game. Looks like there's a little ledge right here, but I can't even see where I'm teleporting to. Looks like there might be something right there. Yeah. Couple more foes down, man. There's all kinds of things you could miss up in here. Just because it's so dark, like detail has been removed. And so you can't see those small details that indicate a secret or whatever without physically walking over there and painting every single area with the flashlight. You could miss out on some stuff in here. Where are we in regards to the map? I wonder what the point of this is. It's kind of like a mini zone after a zone. Huh. Little weird. It's okay, though. You got plenty of medical supplies. So falling every now and again can be a little bit more fun than anything else. Oh, it's going to be a loop back. It's going to allow me to go this way. And then that switch might also... Well, it might open up other areas. I don't know. Did this loop back all the way to our teleport, or where did this take me? Hmm. Let's go back to here. I wanted to take a look and see if maybe we could find these extra... This might be the first zone that we might be able to, to eight diamond. I'm going to take a look in this episode for just a little bit and see if there's any secrets that we've left behind. I feel like it would be a wise decision. 
I mean, we already had the big burst of excitement, which was the boss fight. Yeah, if I remember right... Yeah, it says there's one up here. So maybe down inside of this thing? Seems plausible. I think we got a mini dungeon down here. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's never do that. Wasn't expecting to get attacked by security measures right now. Oh, there's no way out. Okay. Woohoo. Avoided that little piece of tragedy. So it looks like I gotta flick some kind of switch. Oh, I fell off a cliff. Okay. Dodge bullet, fall off cliff. Eh, you know. Sometimes these things happen during the throes of adventuring passion. Okay, so that shut that down over there. We're going to teleport across this way because it's just simpler. I will probably use that right here. So that I can snag that and save it for later. Ooh, got lucky on that one. Wasn't expecting to make that hit happen, but sometimes you win some. Sometimes I wonder if there's teleports, like where you can try and dash off screen right there, and there'll be like a little gap and it'll take you off, but I don't think you can screen transition while in midair. The, the programming on that seems like it'd be weird. It's probably simpler than I'm letting on, but... Still seems like it would be odd to me. And so you would just like avoid doing it. Lots of med kits if that's what you're into. Lots of spiders too, I guess. The spiders happen to be your dealio, your arachnidilio. Doesn't look like I can go either of these directions, although that one's destructible. Nope, nothing there either. Break out of the crystals real fast, and then that's going to be locked until we find... I think there's actually a central console, because we've unlocked those before. Fine, then. Dodge my bullets. I crafted them with love for you, but apparently you don't want to receive them into your beautiful little spider body. You're like, oh, he called me beautiful. Ugh. I need a safe harbor. It's a damn firing squad over here. Oh, I thought those had three health. I learned something today. Hooray for me. Ow. I don't think I can get across to that one right there, but maybe I can shoot it. Shoot! Ho! I think there's tons of med kits back here, so I'm going to go grab one before we move on. You never know when that extra five slices of health are going to save you. You know, people have been complaining about the difficulty in this game, but it really kind of surprises me. I understand the critiques of difficulty in, like, Bloodborne and stuff like that, because there's a lot of things in Bloodborne that are, like, incredibly difficult, but, like, optional, like, you don't have to do them. In this game, I haven't noticed anything so far that was much more than pattern recognition on kind of, like, a Super Nintendo level. Like, the bosses are definitely challenging, and they're definitely unforgiving. You can get killed almost instantly if you mess up. But most of them seem to focus on being able to repeat the exact same set of tasks a couple times over and then just landing a heavy strike in between. Well, that one's unlocked, as is that one. Oh, it's sliding forward. Okay, I saw that wrong. I thought that it was like up above and I thought it was like a, I forget what those things, the want blocks or whatever they are from Mario. I thought it was going top to bottom and it's actually sliding. I'm sorry, I saw that wrong. That was one of those dumb deaths. That more than likely unlocks these two. I'm going to take them both out real fast. we got an extra med kit right there just in case you desire to have one. Try to get that second bullet off, but they weren't allowing it to happen. They weren't excited about that. I'm excited about it. But nope. No second bullets allowed here. Ah! 
That looks like it continues to be locked, and the place we need to go is over there. Now, with the way this works, we're technically sort of pinned from the start. But, what is this guy right here? Oh, he's one of those big tree things, those big ent bad guys. Got lost on his way to the moot. And now his pacifism is no longer worn on his sleeve. Nothing inside that cell. I'm gonna allow you to come with me just because I want your coin. I didn't know you had the coin before I murdered you, but... In retrospect, it seems like a justification that I'm able to make. When I write the history books, I'm not going to bring up the fact that I attacked you first. I'm going to bring up the fact that you just fiendishly stole my gold coin, and I had to get it back as a matter of personal honor. And that's how the world works, kids. If you win a conflict, you get to write the book about it. Eh, plenty of bullets. It's not always fair. It's not always kind, but that is the way that it works. That's why you should always be careful about which sources you decide to use. Vet them. Vet them like a cat with a cough. Was this the only place I could have gone from back over here? Yeah, because I came down the elevator, but I did want to get a med kit, so that works out. That is perfectly acceptable. I do like the way the countermeasures turn off once you've actually completed the puzzle in the room. It's a nice little touch. Give the player a brief reprieve, even though this game is not known for reprieves. So we're headed off this way. So we got one of those big frosty dudes over here. Oh, I know what I needed to go back and do. I was going to go back and I was going to test a thing over here. I wanted to see if I there was like a switchy thing that I thought I might be able to shoot back over this way so we could get some free treasure. Well, not totally free. Treasure for the cost of one bullet. What was this way? Did I ever go this way, or did I just walk right by it? Huh, ain't that a thing. I must have just walked by it. Oh, you can get to the cells from back here. Or at least a different set of cells. They're unlocked, though, so whichever way we go around, we should be able to get after them, I think. Another med kit right there. And it looks kind of like there's something over here, but... What I needed was on the previous floor, and when we take this elevator back up, there was like a switch on the opposite side. I think I can shoot that, maybe. Like, right there. Maybe not. Although it does look like it has a secret wall right there. wonder if you gotta shoot it with like a special gun or something. Like one of the gun types. I don't think I can get my energy back that way. Hmm. wonder how you get that. It's gotta be a specific gun type then. Like maybe I shoot it with the laser or something. We'll come back. That's an interesting enough little area to where I would assume there might be a key inside of it. Oh, it's because... okay. That's why I didn't go that way. It's because this switch right here opened up that wall and I didn't even notice. And that's how you juke that room. In case I did it too fast last time, you didn't see how it went down. That's how it went down. It's 
possible there may be some loot back to the right that takes us to those other cells and gives us another opportunity. I gotta get some weapon energy, though. We got zero weapon energy to mess with. I hate it when he does two like that. Throws me off every time. Throws me off every single time. Now, I don't know if it's worth it. That'll probably lower the blocks that are back over here. So that we can now mess with this guy. Yeah, those all together aren't that bad compared to some of the other enemy types. Ooh. We have friends. Yeah. Figured I was going to eat a hit there. One point or another, I was probably going to eat a hit. And I was right. It does loop around on this side. It does indeed loop around on this side. Although that's going to give us a huge bounty of med packs. But we don't really need them. That's the real sad thing here is that the med packs are in our area. So I guess we got backups. We'll look at that as a positive instead of a negative. We also got a coin back up in here. Would I like a coin? Yes, I would. I assume it helps me buy those super awesome magician future weird game that nobody explains burgers. Everybody likes weird games that nobody explains burgers. Ah. Little bastard got me though. You see? There's cobblestones next to the wall right there. That's how I knew that was going to be there. And this... Ah, this takes us back to that other cell block and one of the... Oh, I messed up my double dodge. I still have not got it down. Totally pristine, so you'll have to forgive me. We got plenty of med kits, so I'm not going to worry about wasting them. That's my thing right now, is that I just haven't gotten the double, triple dodges down every single time. Except for when I'm headed directly towards a wall, apparently. And in that case, I will do it perfect every single time. Nice. Oh, and that opens up a land bridge right there. Super sweet. Well, I'm going to assume that we're probably out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Every time we have a boss fight in an episode, it throws off my timer. And so, man, the joy of editing and all that. I will see you in future episodes. Thanks for stopping on by this Hyperlight Drifter. I hope you like the game.